Hey, this is George T. coming to you guys right now just to talk a little bit about Pro Bowl 2022. Kind of curious to see what you guys' take is regarding this game that was played a little bit earlier. You know, as I am was sitting there watching it today, I kind of got a little bit, um, I, I don't know, disgusted or whatnot, just at the way that the game was going. Uh, it was kind of cool and interesting to hear some of our former players talk about what the Pro Bowl is, what it means, and why it looks like it does today. Um, because it has evolved over um, the years. Um, so I don't know if it's just a disparity of age. Of guys like us, Deion Sanders made a, uh, a really good comment about, um, you know, it was just different then he had very high pride in being going to the Pro Bowl and really showing his skills um, while he was out there. Saw Roy Williams, number 31 for the Dallas Cowboys uh, as well, talking about how the game has been different, how they came in um, and played the game a little bit more physical than what we saw um, in this year's Pro Bowl. And there's a lot of players that came out that way. Tend to be separated by age, right? So nowadays when you're watching it, it just, there wasn't, it was like two-hand contact. It wasn't even two-hand contact. I take that back. It wasn't even that. No one got tackled. Uh, there were a lot of interceptions. People were goofing off. Um, and that's okay. Being to the Pro Bowl, no, I'm sorry. That's not okay. What is okay is being recognized for your talents and understanding that you are one of the best of the best um, in the National Football League. I think we saw more effort from guys in the challenges um, that they had when they were playing dodgeball. Oh, shoot, they were sweating around then. You see Michael Parsons and Tyreek Hill and those other guys just out there racing. You know, uh, those are they ran faster in those than they did um, in the game. So it just makes you wonder and question, well, why are we even still having this game? I know guys don't want to get hurt, um, all the right things, but why are we having it? Why are we even got it on national television for people to see that it's just a glorified practice? You know, because Swether and I had the opportunity to go to the Pro Bowl um, not too long ago um, as spectators. It was actually um, – at the time that the tragedy happened with um, Kobe Bryant. We were down there that year. Um, and we, we went to some practices, and I got to see guys do things, and it was just so slow-paced. Um, you know, that's okay. I just figured that was the tempo of the practice. But then when we got to the game, it was kind of the same thing as well. So I was already kind of accustomed to it. It just kind of hit me a little bit harder today because it seemed like it's getting worse. It's getting worse. So my take is, man, don't play the game anymore. Don't play the game anymore. The, the guys don't really want to play. How many people have we had, the first people selected to play, that are opting out for whatever reason, right? And then you have some more people come in, and they're all talented athletes. But good Lord, man, when you get it, let them go down there to wherever you're going to have it, whether it's in Vegas or somewhere else. Um, let them have a good time, give them a really nice banquet, give them some bling, let them compete um, in other ways, allow them to raise some money for their charities, and then have a banquet <laughs> or something uh, for where they can get G'd up because what they're doing out there um, in the game is really, really, really a waste of time. So I'm saying no more Pro Bowl. I don't know who's making the money or what it is. If guys still have incentives in their um, packages uh, to do that and, and to, to be into, in the Pro Bowl, um, I'm sure they do. But it doesn't have anything with, to do with having the success of how you play in the game, that's for sure. So let them get their honors, and let's just move on from this Pro Bowl thing because it is a waste of time.